Well, now that federal funds are drying up, the program Project Room Key is being phased out. It housed thousands of homeless Californians in, you know, vacant hotel rooms during the pandemic. Tomorrow, the L.A. City Council will consider a new ordinance requiring hotels to rent vacant rooms to the homeless, whether they want to be part of the program or not. But some hotel and motel owners don't support the idea. KCAL 9's Christine Lazar is live in Eagle Rock with the story. Christine? Yeah, Amy, the council will vote on that tomorrow. And what it will essentially do is require all hotels throughout the city to report their vacancies every day to the city. And if they have a vacant room like this one, then the city can pay for it a fair market value and they can put a homeless family or person in that room. Now, opponents say the city is not going to put these people in the Four Seasons or the St. Regis because those are just too expensive. So this will fall at the feet of the smaller motels and hotels, those owned by the mom and pop families, similar to this one that I'm standing in right now. I've been homeless like, you know, almost four years now. Keith Robinson, with his dog Chosen, thought Project Room Key was his ticket to permanent housing. But almost two years after moving into the L.A. Grand, he is still waiting. Me not having, you know, like good credit and stuff like that, um, I couldn't um, get no permanent housing. Keith spent years in prison, so he says many Section 8 landlords reject him. Last week, he and hundreds of others living here got letters like this one, telling them they had to be out by the end of the month, only to be told a few days later that they had more time without saying how much. I worry every day that if they don't find me a place and they come back with another notice, this time they might put us out. This man has a dog, so he says he can't stay in most shelters. You don't know where you're going to lay your head. I, I, I slept different places underneath the bridge, um, in the park, um, in abandoned buildings. With Project Room Key now phasing out, tomorrow the LA City Council will consider another homeless housing proposal. According to the ordinance, hotels throughout the city will have to report by 2 p.m. each day the number of vacancies they have, and then the city will refer homeless people and families to those rooms in exchange for a fair market value. We're not equipped to handle some of the uh, issues that arise with the unhoused. Ray Patel owns the Welcome Inn in Eagle Rock. He says hotel owners should have a say and not be forced into such a program. He also worries about the safety of his guests and staff. I'm not saying all homeless people will, will cause problems, but it's been known to be occur and we can't, we can't guess. And though the owner of this hotel does not support that ordinance, there are, of course, supporters. It was actually drafted by a union who represents uh, thousands of hotel workers in Southern California. A spokesperson for that union says many of those hotel workers cannot afford to live where they work. So this is all about finding affordable housing for the homeless and those who are about to be homeless. Also, the ordinance would include a provision that whenever a developer demolishes affordable housing to build a hotel, they would have to also replace that affordable housing. The council will have two options tomorrow. They can vote on the ordinance as is and it will go into effect in 30 days or they can push it to a ballot where voters can have their say and that would occur in 2024. In Eagle Rock, I'm Christine Lazar. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you, Christine.